walking through the woods. Walking through the woods, looking for the Blair Witch. What's up guys, my name's Woke and today I'm going to be painting that slab of concrete behind me. Now it's still spooky season and I don't really have a sketch or game plan, but I do want to paint a witch because I'm in the middle of the woods and I'm feeling like I'm kind of in the middle of the Blair Witch Project. Okay, quite a few of you have asked about my character design process. I do plan to do some stuff on that soon. I want to do some live drawing. I want to do some tutorials, but you can see from here, it's just shapes. So I knew I wanted to draw a witch. I didn't know exactly how she would come out, um, but I just started drawing the circle in the center of the wall to kind of map out where the character would go. Um, then I got into some lines to kind of show the shape and flow of the character. I wanted her to hold some kind of potion bottle, and I definitely wanted to make sure there was some kind of interaction happening on the wall between the character and this potion bottle. So I made sure that she was looking at the bottle and added the expression on her face like she was slightly concerned with it or I should say concerned, but also intrigued. Okay, the rough concept is on the wall. I'm about to fine tune those lines with a lighter color. Just wanna take a quick sec to show you guys what I'm dealing with here at the spot. It's all flooded and it sucks. So whenever I go to the wall, especially if I'm gonna freestyle something like a character, I always like to have two different color cans. One to kind of just sketch things out on the wall and the other to fine tune those lines. Things get pretty messy as far as the line work and the sketching goes, so it's definitely nice to have a little bit of clarity when you're looking at the piece. One of the things I always like to say is if you don't like your foundation, you're not gonna like the final product and your first lines are pretty much your foundation of your piece. So once you're happy with those, you can kind of move forward and then start getting into color. I definitely wish I had more, more time for this piece and I wish I was able to bring more colors down to the wall for this piece, just so that I could take up more of the wall, but unfortunately, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be down here. I didn't exactly have permission for this piece. So I'm pretty happy with the final outcome considering I had no plan and I used what I had with the time I had. Okay, now that all my lines are in place, I can finally start some color. And I think later on, I'm gonna add something for the background area, just something subtle, maybe silhouettes of bats or something. I don't wanna take away from the character. So, time to color. So I had this idea that my name would be coming out of the bottle or going into the bottle as kind of like a kind of dusty, cloudy potion. I wish I kept it one solid color because I forgot that at this spot, the wall is very textured. So doing things with um, a lot of blends and stuff, it just, it doesn't always work out to my favor. It seems to be better when you keep things uh, 2D and hard cut instead of doing a lot of blends, but whatever, <laughs> it is what it is. Despite the texture of the wall, I did have a lot of fun doing all of the blends for the skin tones, I always do. It's nice to just have a base and then start adding highlights, and then I go back and add some of my darker tones to get more contrast where the shadows are. So yeah, this part was a lot of fun for me. I don't wanna give too much away yet on uh, all of my I guess tips on how I do my characters so I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit and let you guys enjoy the video as I texturize this hair actually real quick before I do that though tell me in the comments what you guys want to see me talk about what do you want to know what do you want to learn leave it in the comments thanks We're getting close to the end now, so I'm back and here to tell you that if you guys want to support me more, you can always go on over to my website, kbuart.com. I have plenty of merch available on there. I've got stickers, I've got pins, I've got original artwork, 
t-shirts, prints, uh, new hoodies. So yeah, go on over and check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe get yourself some. And now we'll bust out some lines and final details. For this portion, I'm using the level one cap from Montana, but if you spray paint as well, I'm curious to know what you use. What's your favorite cap? Let me know in the comments and also do not forget to tell me guys what you wanna see more of. I'd love to know. Also, also make sure you like this video. Just hit that button. It takes two seconds. Just tap it, tap it right now. Please, pretty please. All right, I think I'm all wrapped up for today. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me paint next, because I might just paint it. But since you've been such a good audience, I'm going to take you on a little journey and show you the rest of the spot before I show you this final product. All right, so if you follow me on social media, on uh, Instagram, woke.1, you may remember this earthworm gym that I painted a few months back. And we'll keep going down here. This piece I absolutely hate. I did this a year ago for Halloween, and it needs way more contrast. I sat there and thought about everything I changed, but I'm very happy that this little piggy is still rocking and roasting marshmallows. This pig is, I think, almost four years old now, if not more. And then around the corner here, we've got my smoking tiger. Very happy with how this guy came out. And now, here's the final product from today. 